Hello guys, how is everyone doing? I'm back with another video. Today we are discussing some of the mistakes that you need to avoid as the bride of a Daisy wedding or any wedding, mainly a Daisy wedding. Okay, let's go. First, do not buy your dress online without trying. Okay, you can never be sure. Maybe it looks good on the model. You love it on the model or you love it on the hanger, but we all have different body types. If you love it on the model, it doesn't mean you're gonna love it on yourself. So I would advise you to go personally go on and try on dresses and see for yourself which looks best on you and like select it that way. Do not buy online without trying on. You there is a like 90% chance you're gonna be disappointed unless you look like a model and you look good in everything. <laughs> Mistake number two. Do not buy those clip-on big-ass nose rings, okay? Now, what they do is that they put pressure on the nose and it swells up. So, you on your wedding day, you're going to have like twice as wide of a nose on your wedding day because you're wearing those clip-on nose rings, okay? So, if you have a piercing, go for the one, the, uh, the real deal, you know? Not the fake clip-on ones, the ones that go inside your hole in the piercing. Okay, and if you don't have a piercing, just avoid the clip-on ones. They're going to keep falling off. They're a hassle and they're just not worth it. Tip number three or mistake number three, chewing gum on your wedding day. <laughs> it's going to look so bad. Like guys, it, you're going to look like the Bisukita girl. Like, if you want to look like that, that's fine. Do you? But if you don't want to look like that, avoid chewing gum during the wedding day. <laughs> like when you're at the hall and there's films and photos going on. Mistake number four or tip number four. The hair. Keep it away from the face. Okay? You look beautiful. You don't need to hide your face with those two uh, strands of hair, okay? Or any hair at all. Just keep it away from your face. It's gonna look so much prettier. You're gonna look neat and organized. Cause the hair that like when they set it at the salon, it looks great. At the studio, it's gonna look great. But with time, as you start dancing, moving around, they're gonna come up in your face, and that's gonna show in the photos. You're gonna look really messy with all the hair in your face. So try to go for a hairstyle that keeps your hair away from the face. Okay. And lastly, number five. Please take a trial. If you're trying makeup from a salon for the first time, you're doing hair from there for the first time, please take a trial before your wedding day, wedding day so you're not shook on the wedding day like, oh my god, this looks, this is too much for me. Like, you know, you should know what you're gonna look like. You should have a trial so that you're happy and easy on that day. It's not too much, not too different for you. Okay, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Do take a trial from the studio, salon, whatever, wherever you're getting ready from. Uh, just a makeup test or like just uh, tell them, okay, this is the hair I want. Can you do this hair for me? And you can see like, oh, it doesn't look good. Maybe I need to change it. Maybe I need to try something different. Okay, so that is the last tip or the last mistake that you need to avoid not taking a trial. That is all you guys. I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share with your friends and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.